What's going on guys, it is Golazio here, welcome back to another FIFA 20 career mode video. Guys, today I am bringing you Bargain Century. So this is the cheapest and the highest potential players that you can sign in FIFA 20 career mode. So these players are usually around 1.5 million or below and have at least an 84 plus potential some of these players are just ridiculously insane perfect for a road to glory career mode but guys make sure you do hit that like button of course share it with your friends and comment below who you're going as in your career mode so i'm going to go newport county series coming out on this channel very soon but hit that subscribe button and let's get on into that very first player Come on in first, guys, we do have Milot, who is a French central midfielder at 17 years old, starting off at 63 rated with a whopping potential of 86. With a 23 growth, that is definitely something to actually shout about. But this guy's movement and his physicality is incredible in-game, especially in that midfielder role. He has that uh, extra step, you could say. He's a yard in front of any other player on the pitch in that midfield and for 800 grand and a thousand dollar wage incredible coming next guys we are going to more of a winger and into the premier league it is saka playing for arsenal the guy is starting off at 63 five rated even i should say with a potential of 86 once again this guy stands out with that movement that physicality side of things he's a very very fast customer with four star weak foot three star skills and the 17 year old is going to cost you around 1.1 1.2 million pounds with around a three thousand pound wage as well i have upped that a little bit it is you can get him for around two 2.5 but i think the average is going to be free it increases Incredible play to have done the left or the right hand side. Prefer him down the left hand side, if I'm truthfully honest. He gets around players pretty well. And with that extra pace, the fact he doesn't have skill moves really doesn't matter. Now going from the left hand side to the right hand side, we do have Jeremy Docu, who's a Belgian right winger at 17 years old, starting off at 66 rated and growing by a brilliant 20. It is Docu, absolutely incredible player and another fast customer. Like I mentioned with uh, Saka, he might not have the skills because he only got three star skill moves, but that pace at 88 acceleration, 93 agility, and that jump in and balance around that 88, 87 mark, the guy is incredible to actually have in your team down that right hand side. So you don't have to worry about those skill moves. I won't lie to you guys, the MLS actually have quite a lot of hidden gems, and this is one now. It is James Sands, who starts off at 66 rated with a potential of 86. He is a CDM, he can play centre back as well. He's playing for New York City FC. He's a generally all round great midfielder, nothing really too much to shout about in his particular position because he's good all round which is what something i actually look for in a midfielder and he stands out so much and he's 19 years old he's going to grow and if i'm honest if you're playing him constantly that dynamic potential is going to kick in right let's skip back over the pond and we are looking at oliver skip who is a 67 rated central defensive midfielder once again this guy starts off at that 67 rate with potential of 86. Three star weak foot, two star skills. Another brilliant all round midfielder. I have to say, this guy's probably up there with the likes of Ton Ali for that CDM role. He reminds me of a player who literally just sits there. He won't run forward too much when you're actually using him. He kind of holds that midfield really well. So if you are playing the 4 1 2 1 2, or you're playing three in midfield and you won't want to hold back. Skip is the one to actually do that for you. An absolute incredible player. His short passing is absolutely brilliant. So he is definitely a perfect CDM to dictate that play for you. Coming next, guys, we do have the Welsh centre-back at Padu. He is on loan in that first season for uh, Red Bull in the Bundesliga, but he is normally at Chelsea, so you can't sign him until your second season. One of the best centre-backs I've ever used on this game. He's now 18 years old this time around, and he does have a 67 starter rating with a potential of 86. Absolutely brilliant without a doubt his jumping is his biggest standout stat at that six foot usually some people are not a big fan of someone who's under maybe six foot one six foot two but a six foot with really good jumping he's definitely a player to have in that center back position but also when i used him i really like playing him in my cdm role coming on as a sub so if you are kind of looking a little tired he's a very good player to actually put in there because he gives you that extra defensive boost and also he's a very good pass on the ball 
Coming in next, guys, we do have a striker playing for Atlanta in the Serie A. It is Roberto Piccoli, who is a player starting off at 64 rated with a very good potential of 85, especially starting at that 64 rated. Going to cost you around a million pounds or so, but he does have a higher wage than a lot of players. He has got around a six grand wage, which is kind of on that upper end of things. But he is a very tall striker at six foot. So if you are a player who likes getting the ball into the box from the wings, from the out, out on the corners, free kicks, that type of thing, he is a player to actually have on your side because he's very good at jumping and he can easily not play off the ball. He does have a 66 strength to begin with. And once you actually play him for a couple of seasons, that is growing up and up. An incredible player within around two seasons or so. Okay, well, next, guys, we do have another striker going by the name of Sebastiano. He's slightly lower rated at 63 and is going to cost you a lot less at 800 grand. So, an incredible player under that million pounds. He is 6 foot 117, 63 rated with a potential of 80. Five. And as I say, some of his stats are pretty all-round. He's nothing too much to show about when you actually begin with. But this is this particular striker, if you are going to sign him, he is more of a slow build-up. I think he works well in a false nine. So kind of like a Rooney-S type player. The only reason I say that, he has very good ball control. He's pretty decent at dribbling. And if he needs to get a shot away, he can get the shot away. But he can play the ball one twos very well in game so i would honestly recommend him more of a center forward than an actual striker that's the reason he's actually featuring in this team Come on, nice guys, we do have Marcus Antonio playing for Shakhtar Donetsk in the Russian League. He starts off at 65 rated, grown by 22.85. He is 5 for 6, so not exactly the tallest midfielder that you will have in your team. But at 19 years old, he has some really good stats at around 73 pace, 72 acceleration and stuff. And his stamina is at 71 as well, and his vision, attack and position are pretty high for his rating. So for that midfielder role, if you add another, maybe a taller CDM and a lower centre mid, this guy is absolutely brilliant for you to kind of get on the ball. The little, a little whip bit, like David Silva-esque type player is the way I like to describe him. Incredible player on the ball and he will grow quite rapidly to our 85 and he is only going to cost you around £1 million. Guys, they were the cheapest and the highest potential players you can sign in FIFA 20 career mode at the moment. I'll say some absolutely incredible, versatile players you can actually sign. Some of the midfielders are definitely some of my my favorites that will be featuring a couple of career modes of mine let me know in that comment section below guys if you're going to sign any of these really appreciate it. of course while you're down there hit that subscribe button it supports the channel so so much of course we've got a brand new video coming up tomorrow at 4 30 so make sure you subscribe for that as well but anyway guys my name is Colasio and guess what i'll see you next time bye bye